Today I'm going to talk to you about something near and dear to my heart. Something that means so very, very much to me. And that something is sleep deprivation. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I happen to be sporting a pair of really lovely, absolutely beautiful raccoon eyes today. See? Because I was an excessively foolish girl who was like, all the thick, all the interesting, the internet, it exists. I should just stay up all night <laughs> and read and goof around and pretend like I'm, I don't know, a carefree 20-year-old with nothing to do in the morning. It was a mistake, is what I'm saying. Um, and I can't say, oh, I didn't know that I would die. And I can't say, oh, I didn't know I was getting up at 4.30. Because I get up at 4.30 every morning. So, like, I have no excuse. Zero excuses. There are no excuses in the world for me right now. I am the most sleepy, sleep-deprived thing on the planet. And all I want to do is curl up on my office floor, which is so deeply unprofessional. I can't even contemplate actually doing that in real life, but I want to so badly right now. I just want to sleep for days and days, and my bed is so soft and squishy, and my blankets are just, I don't know, a cloud of loveliness, and I am so far away from those things right now. I am staring at a computer thinking, Data processing, data analysis. What does this mean? What does that mean? Ooh, that's a bad trend. I don't want to do this right now. I want to sleep. Sleep. But when it was sleeping time, did I want to sleep? No. I wanted to stay up. I wanted to do silly things. I was like, oh, this is so good. I can't put it down. I need to know what happens next, even though I've already read it twice before. <laughs> so I already know. I already know what's happening. I already know what's coming. I don't need to read it right this very second. I could sleep. I could have slept and I chose not to. I like, I'm a fully functioning adult person and instead of choosing the rational sleep thing, I chose the irrational fun thing, which is no longer fun and I deeply regret. But I can't go back in time now, can I? Nobody's invented me a time machine, and if they did, it would be very, very terrible for me to use it for something as silly as sleep. I'm sure time machines are saved for really important things like the prevention of apocalypses or whatever. I mean, zombies. That would be a good reason to use your time machine. Go back and be like, no, no zombies, let's not do that. That's a bad idea. That would be a great reason for a time machine. Um, getting an extra... Oh, age of sleep not such a good reason especially since past me would just be like hey future me it's so awesome you're here let's chat and then the sleeping would not happen at all <laughs> oh <laughs> i really shouldn't cry so much i mean so i got like three and a half hours of sleep people have had worse people have had worse i'm not dying i'm just raccoony and like want to curl up on the floor with a blanket and a pillow, maybe a stuffy, it would be nice. In my fantasy, the floor is very comfortable. I'm pretty sure with the nastiness of the carpet, it would be very uncomfortable. And with the lack of a blanket or a pillow or a stuffy, I would be miserable and be like, actually, I'd prefer just to be sleep deprived. Can I sit in my desk chair and work now? But in my fantasy mind, it's like the most amazing sleep I would ever get in the world. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Fantasies are nice, yeah? <laughs> In my fantasies, I'm never tired at all. <sighs> okay, time to work.